Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walton University. And it is with great honor that I have been selected to speak this year at the International Conference on Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease and related neurological disorders, which is going on in Sweden and virtually. And so the actual title of this presentation is Effect of Diabetes on Cognitive Dysfunction for Overall Mortality. So let's go ahead and get started. Cognitive dysfunction continues to be, of course, a global public health uh, burden and uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, is the most likely type of dementia in the general population. And as the world ages, there are renewed efforts to understand newer effective treatments, but fact of the matter still remains that there hasn't been any new treatments uh, in the last 20 years. Uh, in this research, um, it, it, the idea was to demonstrate the effect of diabetes on the impact of cognitive dysfunction. So, and the methodology uh, in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey uh, we used 1999 to 2002 follow up to December 2015 and adults in this one age 20 years or older um, were tested the digital symbol substitution test and uh, of course if if they were uh, considered to be obese and outcomes of all cause mortality were evaluating evaluated using Cox regression. So methodology, diabetes, cognitive dysfunction, and all-cause mortality. Looking at if diabetes modifies the connection between cognitive dysfunction and all-cause mortality. So the results uh, mean follow-up was 9.4 years in this, and the rest of it I'm going to show you in terms of uh, a figure, which will make sense. So I'm not going to read all of this, but show you in a figure. So in this figure, um, what is important and uh, extremely uh, revealing is the fact that uh, not only individuals who have cognitive dysfunction have higher mortality, um, however, individuals that have diabetes and cognitive dysfunction are more likely um, has a stronger effect uh, to overall mortality than individuals that did not have diabetes and uh, had just cognitive dysfunction. Um, they had 1.22 times um, higher likelihood. So as you can see, there's effect modification going on um, according to the hazard ratio. And uh, of course, these are important to note that the two on the right are adjusted hazard ratios, whereas the one on the left, the third one from the right, um, is cognitive dysfunction um, hazard ratio on its own. In conclusion, our research shows that cognitive dysfunction leads to overall mortality, um, especially in individuals with diabetes. The effect is further accentuated with added effect of diabetes, diabetes and cognitive dysfunction can lead to more increased mortality. So individuals are more likely to have higher mortality from cognitive dysfunction with diabetes than those individuals without diabetes, if the individual has obesity. So again, it's in, uh, important to note that these are individuals that all have obesity. Uh, so low cognitive dysfunction or cognitive dysfunction leads to higher mortality um, especially in the presence of obesity. So that concludes this presentation. The idea was that diabetes has a modifying effect um, on overall mortality from low cognitive function, but this is only true in individuals that are experiencing obesity. Thank you for listening.